one of the most amazing reading experiences we had in our black, we, had, we first started a group called Black Men Reading. Um, Alfred Tatum is wonderful talking about this emotional intelligence that has to be developed. And um, we had a community reading, and so there were people of, 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 of all backgrounds, all cultures, all colors there. And after the Watts Riots, there was a group called the Watts Writers Project started. And they published an anthology, and it's slipping my mind, I believe called Black Power. And in there, there was a short story called I Remember Papa. And in that short story, basically this boy is, re this, this man now is recalling his childhood when his father's job as a, as a black menial laborer was basically making big rocks into little rocks at, a con at construction sites. But he would bring his son and he was so proud that his son could see him providing a living for his family. And the father loses his job and their lives deteriorate. And I saw grown men who had never seen each other before crying and talking about how now they understand their fathers and their fathers struggle. So literature can do those kinds of things. Um, when you see young people who are maybe acting out in school and, you, and, and, and they're about to be suspended and you come in and you say, well, what's going on in your life? And they can't tell you. And you begin to talk to them about poetry and, you, and spoken word and you share with them poetry. And they begin to write their poetry and instead of fighting or acting out in school, they then write a poem. And so we actually have young boys and young girls who during lunch hour might stand up in the cafeteria and tell a poem that's talking about the violence in their home or the violence in their street. So rather than acting out, now they're speaking out and people are listening. And I think, so you see these kinds of examples where literature every day is changing lives. But unfortunately, we're going to an, an educational policy it's only concerned with uh, uh, testing. Can you answer this question? And sometimes the answers to questions are more complicated some, than, than, than the question will allow for. Sometimes answering the question is really asking that same question in a different way. Or sometimes answering the question is simply saying, this question doesn't even apply to my life. And literature allows for all of those forms of expression, all of those answers that can be correct and are correct.